This video is to demonstrate to students how to access ConferZoom if your faculty elected to use it. So to use ConferZoom that is embedded within Canvas, um, what you would do is log into your Canvas course. So to find ConferZoom, look at the left hand side for the ConferZoom tab. The ConferZoom tab could be listed within any of these areas, so just check to see where your faculty has put it. So to get into ConferZoom for scheduled meetings, what you would do is hit the ConferZoom app. So once you hit that app, it will take you to the um, ConferZoom page. So if you look at the events that's happening, you have upcoming classes that are scheduled, and then for the class that's currently happening, so for that day, that time, you will have a button that hits join. So once you hit join, it will take you directly to your um, faculty members confer Zoom page where they could hold um, live interactions. Just something to consider is if your faculty elects to re uh, record their meetings, what you could do is hit the event recordings. In the event recording section, if your faculty chooses to record their class sessions through ConferZoom on Canvas, you will actually be provided a hyperlink here that you will just click in order to access those previously recorded meetings. But going back into the event calendar, to get into the ConferZoom that your faculty member has set up to meet class, what you would do is just make sure that you see the button that says join. Once you hit join, it will bring you live to the session so long as the faculty is scheduled. In Confer Zoom on Canvas, once you hit join, a new window will pop up. So make sure that you enable your pop up blocker. If this new window or new tab does not pop up, check in the URL line on the right hand side, if you have a little box that has a red um, line through it, that means that your web browser is preventing you from allowing pop-ups. So you might be prompted to open Zoom meetings. So you don't necessarily need um, a confer Zoom account, you are actually using your faculty's account. So as you can see, this is my confer Zoom window and this is where um, faculty and students will be meeting. So make sure when you enter into the class to go ahead and hit mute on your mic. Otherwise, everybody's gonna hear everything, including the background noise. As you can see, my camera is currently turned off. If you wanna turn on your camera, what you would do is just click this um, image or the icon and then your camera will be enabled if you allow um, if you are supposed to have your camera on if you need to chat so your faculty is allowing you to chat within the class to participate go ahead and hit that chat box when you do that and um, a window will pop up to the side where you can actually type in your message if you see the two, that means everyone in this case can see whatever it is that you're chatting. You can actually do um, a drop down menu if there are other people and send them a private message if your faculty enabled that feature. So your faculty may or may not elect to record your session. If you want the session to be recorded and it's not recorded, what you can do is request your faculty to hit that record button. If there are a myriad of people, there's a lot of people in the class that are talking or that have uh, confer Zoom on, there should be a button at the top side that tells you the different kinds of view. So if you click on the top bar that says view and it says gallery view, you will have a lot of boxes with everyone's um, camera on if they have it on or their names so you can see who's a part of that discussion. Now again, if you wanna end that meeting, go ahead and end that meeting to get you off of the confer Zoom. So please note that when you are 
on ConferZoom. When you log in, as soon as you log in, faculty members can actually see who logged in and how long you have been logged in. Hopefully this gives you a quick introduction into how to get into ConferZoom in class should your faculty choose to use Zoom on Canvas.